Hello, I am Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs, back with more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, look, I'm gonna level with you. That last episode, it wasn't great. I wasn't happy about it at all. Um, I think for fair reasons. Um, did a lot of things, I mean, we did some things right, we did some things wrong. There were a lot of the, the wrong in particular. Uh, so I did, I did backtrack a little bit and, um, relaunch this mission sort of from the ground up um meaning we do basically have the same thing in orbit now i did hey it's a command thing where you can control it hey scientists there's scientists on board and and yes they are they're doing science um we have uh i figured out how to transfer fuel between different containers which is very good um we have uh not quite a full tank here so today's uh, mission is super super simple it gets two things out of the way the the one that i'm really been you know thinking about for a while is actually docking something in orbit around the moon. like i just i need to test that can i dock something in uh the the main sort of secondary part of the mission is to uh refuel uh these tanks just just move whatever that like less than 300 um gallons units whatever of fuel into these tanks and then get back out um not going to think about i'm not that worried about landing on the moon i don't want to lose you know kerbals again we're not going to kind of i think sometimes the problem is i, I want to pack so many things into these episodes and i'm like okay we'll put this in orbit and then we'll land on the moon and we'll get home and we'll detach this and we'll connect these things and it's like no um do one thing uh let's well it's still two things because but it's really the one thing it's just docking docking is the main goal here um if we can get some fuel into these tanks that's that's you know obviously there's no reason not to unless we just don't have a way to get back uh so we're going to build a simple rocket for that because we shouldn't need a lot to it i actually want to load one of my older sort of one of my first rockets because they just like something like this had remember how much delta v this thing had how disgustingly much it had. Um, so I think we are going to, we're gonna need a docking clamp, right? Because we're gonna learn how to do this. Uh, so we're gonna need a docking clamp, which we will pop right on top here. Um, we don't need all this stuff. We're not gonna be doing science, I don't really think. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that off um that should be enough as far as uh, let's move this thing up let's move these uh up as well we want a battery we don't want a science junior um i mean we solar panels that's the other thing we'll want to get which i can just put on this main part we're not going to be landing don't need any lander legs. Like, I'm, I'm actively going to take them off, so I can't be like, get in orbit and be like, oh, now I want to land. Because, um, I mean, obviously, you've been listening for a while. You know that's how I sound. That's just how I sound. Uh, we'll do kind of double symmetry there. Uh, yeah. And that's really it. It's really all we wanted. Well, no, wait. We're going to need RCS controls. So we do need a RCS engine. Or a smaller RCS tank. Because uh, once we are... Nope, that's the big one. That's the super little one. Last tries charm. There we go. Since we are going to be docking, how much does this hold? That only holds 180. And we established we needed more than that. So hang on. Uh, let's revisit this idea for a second. So I think we are going to need a slightly bigger... Nope. Should have kept. Because we are going to want the... Bigger uh, engine. That holds how much? Yeah. It holds 810, so we need to reserve... Well, we're going to need most of that, right? Because we'll need 300 and something to put in the tanks. We'll need another... 300 just to be safe to get back out of I mean because we're not taking off so um, but 300 safely get all the way home so 600 so we can use about 200 of that before we get there um, 
All right, which one of these ISPs is the best in the vacuum? Because this is only going to be in the vacuum. And efficiency is the name of the game. It probably is this one, or it's always this one. This one's always... It's so big, though. I don't, I don't want a giant one. 345, does that fit? Yeah, we'll just go with that one. And we still need the RCS. Now we do need the bigger one. There we go. RCS. I need to go on here. Um, there. And there. And we'll need a detach. Which one do you think it is? It's probably this one. That was close. It was this one. No, it's not. Was it this? Oh God! Again? Yeah, it was. I was right the first time. Uh, let's see. And we have RCS down here as well. Where's our center of mass on this thing? So I think we're going to put some RCS controls here, as well as up here. All right. Have 8,000 Delta V in this thing. That should That's way, way, way more than enough. But, you know, fuel has been a problem before. Separatrons activate on the removal. We don't need to bear, worry about rotating around. That activates. Then this stage activates and gets us home. Do we have a heat shield? Let's make sure we have a heat shield. Yeah, we do have a heat shield. And we have that and we have we did not put solar panels on this time so let's put some solar panels back on um, yeah there we go uh, that's not lined up very well let's there we go turn snap on all right so our goal is simply to get this into lunar orbit dock god the docking thing's gonna go it, it, yeah I'm going to get something. It's No, it's going to be great. Everything's going to be great. All right, so this... These go with this. Detach. Why are we suddenly down to 5,600 Delta V? What did I change? Oh, that needs to go here. That continues. I'm going to actually stage it like that. All right, so we have 8,000 Delta V. All right, um, I'm gonna save this as, oh, we just saved it as Juno 1. Okay, this is the new Juno 1. Let's see, make sure we've got some stability. I don't want four times symmetry. No, it's what I've got. Um, do we need some struts just to make sure these all stay nicely connected together? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit wobbly. Just to kind of contain it. Um, we want a stabilizer too. We want to command the control surface. I'm willing to spend the money to not have this be a problem. Is there one that just flat out fits this? There is not, so we will actually move it here. There we go. Actually, let's not be dumb. That's expensive. Let's bring that home. Heat shield, decoupler, ship. 7,900 Delta V, these need to go here. And now we'll save again. All right, let's see if we can do this. So we need to get to the moon, we need to orbit the moon, we need to rendezvous with the ship, that uh, the, the um, station, we need to dock, and then we need to come home. We'll see how much of that we do this episode, but here we go, all right. Let's see. Who do we have driving this thing? 
I have uh, Jeb. Good for you, Jeb. You can do this, Jeb. Uh, in three, two, one. That's a nice launch. Got some good control on it. This thing's chock full of RCS, so we should have a nice, relatively smooth ride up. First stage nearly out, throttle up, detach. We're slowing down a little bit, that's okay. I had forgotten this thing doesn't have enough gas to keep accelerating. I mean, we get back to an acceleration state, but. Yeah, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. And we are slowly accelerating again. Don't want to tip it over too much too soon. I feel like I got lots of control though. Get that on the line. Good, good, good. All right, cool. So far, so good. Now's the moment where I think of the thing I forgot. What did I forget? I mean, let's have some faith in me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe in me. This is me believing in me. This is gonna go great. It's a straightforward mission. Has a clear goal. We have the right ship for the right. Uh, situation. And this is going to go great. Well, right ship. I say that like we're not struggling to, you know, uh, gain altitude. But it's fine. Which is, uh, come on, I can do it. You know what I should have done is I should have put the uh, mainsail on the bottom of this thing. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Now, if that's the worst thing I forget, then I can live with that. But we need a lot more height here before we're looking at this stage running out. I'm fine if we circularize with the next stage. Because um, there should be plenty in there. We just need to have a decent apoapse. Um, so it's getting up to 40k. Come on. I'm finally picking up some reasonable speed here. Getting a little bit better efficiency. And that stage is done. Good. And we're relatively in a vacuum here, so this stage should be plenty to manage. Still got 2,000 fuel in the tank. Start bringing her over a bit. One of these days, probably what I'll do is I'll pick up these missions instead of making you watch me build them every... Well, let me know. Uh, drop me a line in the comments. Do you see, enjoy seeing me try and think through how to build a rocket every time? Um, and then launch it? I mean, that's... Maybe that's part of the fun, is seeing... Because, yeah, you know, I'm far from an experienced player. Um, but I, I love learning these things and kind of testing things and finding out the things I did wrong and do them wrong two or three more times until I finally, you know, stop doing them wrong. Um, but that's like half the fun for me. I know it's it can, you know... It can be fun to watch. It can be frustrating to watch. You let me know. Do you want me to start um, picking up the episodes when I'm already in orbit and kind of going, or do you want you know do you enjoy that that early phase, the building part of it? Because um, I want I, yeah, want you to have fun too. Uh, we're coming up on an Apple Apps of seventy k, which is good. That's space. That's where we want to be. We were aiming at space, so it's good to know we're gonna we're gonna get there. Uh, I'm going to take it up to about 80k, and then we're not going to need, by that point, we really won't need much more burn um, to circularize. 
We have a thousand delta V left in this tank. If I could get most of the way to the mun on that. Okay. Um, let that reduce down. We've hit space. Do a quick save. Tilt her over. Burn this last little bit off, and then we're going, we have really low throttle here. Good, good, good. We still have, yep, yep, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna use most of this tank getting to the mun. So we'll have to be able to circularize, dock, we mostly use RCS for the docking, right? Um, that I'm not as worried about. And then hopefully have enough to get back home. Really thought 7,000 Delta V, or yeah, 7 or 8,000 Delta V was going to be more than enough. And, you know, perhaps it still is. Let's not jump to conclusions. All right, we're going to go to the MUN. That's our target for now. Add a maneuver. Nope. Get rid of that maneuver because I did it wrong. Come on. We want to be around 50,000. Remember, that's basically where I parked to that thing. So we're going to need 845 Delta V in just a few seconds here. Looking forward to Jeb having enough skill to just target the, the, uh, the maneuver node. Let's go ahead and burn. So we're going to need to, we're going to use a hundred out of our next our next whatever. Well, and, oh, you know what? When, when, when I was in the VAB, I was thinking of delta V in tons as a one-to-one -one ratio. That's not true at all. We're fine, because we have 3,000 delta V in the next one. So we should be able to circularize, connect up, and have plenty of fuel. Okay, yeah, that's my mistake. I see what I was thinking of there. And we are almost, yeah, so we're fine. This is good. Finishing up this stage in about five seconds. Three, two, one. Activating our last but most important stage. All right, I want to get as close as I can to this on the first try. Oop. Well, that's going to be an intercept. Uh, I can come out here and... Just add a maneuver node to <laughs> pow into the money I go. Uh, put a couple of satellites out here to earn some money. Um, so if you're wondering where those things came from, I made them. Okay, uh, so we just need another 4.3 meters per second to fix my mistake. Go ahead and burn that now. Go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we'll turn off SAS, we'll turn off RCS, and we'll go to the month. Very, very good. 3,198 Delta V in the tank. That's all good. Hey, we should land. No, I'm joking. It's not sure what's going on here. And there is our MSS. It's on a not perfect uh, by any means um, 
orbit, but it's fine. So we'll circularize. I want to get it so that's at about. Um, we're actually going to set that as target. Its periapsis is 51 and 51. Yeah, it's in a nice stable or orbit at least. So we'll get it down to about 51. No, I don't want to lower that one. So what I might do is put it right there. And then we can just dial it in. It's also going to depend on how close we are. Like, do we need to go underneath its orbit to catch up? What are we going to do? Because it's hard to tell at this point. Uh, so let's warp to our next maneuver node in 34 minutes. Actually, you know what? We're going to be kind of close. Maybe, no, it's going to go flying by us. So we're going to want to probably have a slightly lower, um, a slightly lower orbit so we can catch back up with it. Good, good, good. Let's pick that burn up a bit. And drop it down. Very good. We'll cut it in. Kind of dial the last little bits of it in here. Okay. That'll do for now. All right, so our periaps is 51, our apoaps is 59. So let's go ahead and drop that actually down to, um, let's get it down to about 45. I'm gonna do that when we're at the periaps, obviously. Okay. So now we need to adjust our inclination because that is also clearly problematic. A maneuver where we will do much. There we go. All right. It's another 58 delta V, but we're just fine. That's lots in the tank. Warp to next maneuver node. Then we'll need to rebalance our apoaps and periaps. There we go. All right. Uh, our apoaps is 47 versus their 51. So let's get here and we'll burn retrograde just to kind of lower that a little bit further. Goal here is to catch up with these guys. down. Okay. Um, I think we're going to take it down a little more. So we need to catch up with them. And we may have to do the tracking station thing again. But we are closing the distance, right? This is going down pretty decently. 
Might have to go around the moon a few times, so that's all right. Wee! <laughs> so stupid. Uh, yeah. Two more times at most. <sighs> all right, this feels good. Feels all right. We still have... How much do we want to put in? 300? That would be half our Delta V, so that would still leave us at least, like, worst case scenario, hopefully a thousand Delta V to get back home, which is perfectly fine. Continuing to close the gap. That'll be good. We'll be separated by about five kilometers there. We're on the inclination, so it's just a matter of when we're kind of even up with them. What is our... So we're going 100 meters per second relative to them. 30 kilometers, 20. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit so we don't go sailing past. And that's probably our closest right there. Um, so let us burn retrograde to them to burn off that speed. Very good. Okay, now we want to burn to the target. So let's go. Can we close the gap? Get up to about 30 or 40. I'm going to do a quick save. That's perfect, right there. Close the distance. In we go. Get under a kilometer. Begin slowing that down. Get it down to about 15. Close a little more of that distance. I know I said 15 and then did 8. It just I was sort of sailing towards it and I did not want to have I did not want to have a situation. All right. So where is she? There she is. We can see her. That's something. Burn off the last of our delta V here. Go ahead and swing it around and get a little closer. And we're going to take this real careful now. Because I still don't know what our orientation to the ship itself is. I don't want to go smashing into it. Okay. Good, good, good. How much monopropellant do we have? Okay, we're all right. Slow it down. It's gonna be a little hard for me to do a lot of talking while I'm doing this. Okay. <sighs> now for the hard part. RCS thrusters on. SAS is engaged. Let's set its target. Flip it around. Now I just have to remember how the RCS stuff works. So we're going to move to the right a little bit. Why is this not translating? In? Oh, right, 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 right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Why is that moving me down?
my RCS controls aren't doing what I think they're going to do. Okay, uh, RCS off. Um, let's set that back as the target. I want to get... I can't. Okay. RCS. This is left and right, right? Am I doing this wrong? All right, I want to move back up. Because H is forward, yeah, that's forward. None of the things are doing, I've done this before. Why is this not going the way I think it should? Shouldn't I raise me? Maybe I'm maybe I'm not orientated the way I think I am. I need to get my orientation straight. That's probably the problem. I can't get it going in one specific direction. Closing back in on it, so I think I've... There we go, smooth it out, smooth it out. left and now I want it to go up why is it still going up okay so I'm pressing I which I think should make me go upwards maybe I'm just really heavy and I just need to be aware of that can I eventually go back up toward it hmm All right, turn RCS off for a second. Let's burn off this speed. Try it again. I mean, I could just use thrusters, but that seems so dumb. Let's get it back close. Right, if I could just do this with the thruster somehow. Uh, isn't there a way? Oop. Um, to move it to the WASD keys, let's switch to docking mode. Switch it to staging mode. So I can go ahead and reorientate around. All right, now switch to docking mode. RCS thrusters on. I want to move left. Good, I'm doing that. Okay, I'm 
going to move into position and I'm going to burn off anything I've got by just going the opposite direction that I just went once I'm pretty happy with it. That's taking speed away. Excellent. Good. I forgot what I did. Okay, now how do I move forward? Oh, just like that. Got it. I want to go up a little bit, right? That's down. Because I need to come over the top of this thing. Burn off that speed. Good. Need to reorientate. Oop. <laughs> Thump. Okay. Turn on docking mode again. Other way. Good, good. I mean, not great, but learning. Move this way. This is kind of agony, I know. Trust me, I'm right there with you. Nope, down. down forward come on come on yes <laughs> oh, I know I know uh, I know it's not a huge deal I know that's not exciting but uh, it talked. I can't believe I did it. I did it. Let's move fuel into this tank, right? So it's it's gonna go in and in. Good, good, good. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, what I'll probably do is I, I don't think there's any like it won't be exciting. I'm gonna send this home. I'll just get it home on my own. You know, like you've seen reentries enough times. Um, what we need to do is bring more of these. So this requires this between these two we have fourteen hundred. We need four thousand in total. Uh, so we need what twenty six hundred, right? Four thousand minus well, wait, four fourteen hundred in the two tanks. 720 and 720 is 1,400. We want 4,000. So we need 2,600, which means we need two rockets with 1,300 in them. This is not enough. So something more like these two tanks. We're going to have to dock on either side, which is fine because we also need two pilots to accomplish our goal. Um, but I did this. I did rendezvous two vessels in orbit. I can transfer crew between vessels. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that for a moment. Uh, transfer crew. Transfer him into this thing. Nice. And now transfer him back because he needs to go home. Uh, transfer crew. Transfer him back to here. Good. We did that. <sighs> yeah. 
Anyway, as always, my name is Sean Sands from Cambridge Switch Jobs. Thank you for joining me for more Kerbal Space Program, where we docked some stuff in orbit around the moon. That's a big one for me. Uh, I hope you, I hope you found it at least mildly entertaining, because that was that was a blast. From the, yeah, clap for me, Lovis and Hendo. Uh, until next time, we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>